So, um, Leon, thank you so much for inviting me to speak today. Um, I will keep it brief as I know you're all here for the main event. Um, but as Leon mentioned, you know, um, some studios are trying to be diverse, which kind of leads me into the tentacle zone. Um, some of you may know us for the expo stand and we've helped around 150 games through that stand um, and around 200 um, you know developers so it's it's been a fun journey and that was around 2016 that that was launched by payload studios um, payload studios are the creators of TerraTech, and when they started off as an independent developer they thought, let's share some costs, let's get a stand up and running where we can get a really good space, not something, you know, stuck by the corner of, of the area. So um, it worked out pretty well. Um, where things are now moving are um, as Payload expands, we created a co-working space in, in London and um, we've been sharing that space with seven or eight other studios, um, including Spilt Milk and Robot Squid. Um, yeah, then the pandemic hit. So um, whilst that was going great and we held lots of community events for um, organizations like Pock and Play and OMG, we thought we'd better adapt pretty quickly. And um, last year um, we ran around 50 virtual events for our residents and also launched free events for um, you know the wider community. So that was a really interesting learning experience. Um, and it was in parallel to Game On, which is our inclusion and diversity initiative that Payload runs. And we were also launch partners for the Raise the Game pledge. So this all tied in quite nicely to, um, to why I'm here today. And that is to talk about our incubator program, which is really targeted towards underrepresented groups and founders from early stage studios. I mean, they may not even be set up or registered and that's kind of um, the target audience we want to support. So the Tentacle Zone has a resident pool, as I mentioned, and we want to bring in up to eight new founders to be integrated into that wider peer-to-peer -peer community, because um, a lot of what the kind of unique benefit of the, the community is sharing technical knowledge, um, you know, contacts, people are just virtually there to, to help companies overcome things that would normally take a lot of time. So we found that the um, social side as well has helped a lot during the pandemic. So the eight places would be for a full month program running from March to June and applications are open at the moment. And so if anyone is interested in applying or know someone who, who could be relevant, I would love to hear from you. But um, I did want to highlight, obviously, Yuki's role um, and lots of our other partners. We really can, can offer the places for free without their support. And um, just to highlight a few of them, you can see Creative England's Creative Enterprise, um, Tonic, so obviously the, um, the organisation and their kind of experience around Fall Guys will be quite interesting. Green Man Gaming and the University of Greenwich is... Um, is very relevant because that was our kickoff conversation really around um, trying to use our platform for positive change. They talked about a lot of the barriers low socioeconomic groups have um, in their university when they're trying to either apply for jobs or go down the entrepreneurship route. You know, some people are just not privileged enough to have uh, the time to work on those things and they may have an additional job. So um, yeah, these partners are really key to, um, to getting this up and running. Um, here's a rough idea of who would be eligible. I mean, we're not in a position to say this is underrepresented and this is not. So this is just a way of trying to incorporate as many categories as we could um, think of when speaking to, to different individuals. Um, this is roughly what we'll offer. And, um, you know, the team building, I think at an early stage will be essential. And we've got a whole range of mentors and, and trainers who've come on board. So um, hopefully someone will, you know, pick up the, the skills necessary to get kind of good business growth at an early stage. Again, here's just a snapshot of, a snapshot of what you'll get. The peer-to-peer -peer learning aspect, the fact that we're gonna be focusing on soft skills, um, you know, confidence, assertiveness, self-esteem, I mean, after the Black Lives Matters protests last year, you know, that's when we decided as a studio to really try and do something practical. So hopefully 
um, yeah, what we're planning will, will benefit a group of people. Here is the link and my email address. And um, yeah, hopefully I can answer any questions um, at the end of the event or on the chat. And um, thank you.